Hi, I'm Skipper Parvo. Welcome to the Slop Podcast. Each week, we'll interview trailblazing renegades challenging archaic archetypes and exploring alternative ideologies. In our ongoing dialogue about what it means to be an evolved human mammal, we'll color outside the lines of conventional science and medicine in pursuit of finding meaning in our present incarnation and unleashing our truest self. Today's guest values things in their purest form. She's the creator of her very own reverse roast rare indulgence. She's a coffee liaison and her name is Evangeline Falcon. Liaison. It's exceptional. Oh, I can, I can smell it. It's, I'm waking up just, I feel like I'm absorbing the caffeine, just smelling it. <laughs> you are. Before we dive into your coffee artistry, uh, I'm hoping you'll join me in a 15 second meditation. Today's intention. I'd love to. Oh, I just assumed, but thank you for agreeing. Today's intention is lucid dreaming and begin. Welcome. What did you that was dr- spectacular. Thank you. What did you dream about? My mom. Oh. She was a beautiful woman, I can see from your smile. She was average, um, hmm. but she was an excellent teacher. And during the time that she was my mother, she was very good at it. Um, she left our family. She decided that she wanted um, other things out of life. So I haven't seen her in 31 years. Mm. Can you unpack that a little bit for me? What has she done in those 31 years? You know, all I know is that she moved to Cleveland with a man named Jerome. Well, I don't know Jerome, and I can't claim to know your mother, but... I think it's safe to say they're drinking coffee. Pharrell is drinking coffee. Hillary Clinton is drinking coffee. That's right. It's the universal connector. What is it about this ground up little bean that's so appealing? You know, through my years in coffee liaison agerie, Mm -hmm. I have learned that there are billions and billions and billions of species on earth, but only humans drink coffee. Mm. And to me, that's always been beautiful. And it's something that I've wanted to be involved in because it's really quite popular. It's unique to the human experience. That's right. Which is such a rare thing because most of us are all connected to the original creator, you know, and this is one thing that's just for humans. That's right. I hesitate to call it a miracle potion because (laughs) my lawyer will be mad I'm setting up another lawsuit, but it's a miracle potion. Thank you so much. I feel the same way. Mm. What is your crafting method that makes it so spectacular and packing such a big punch in a tiny little cup? You know, I'm a from the start to the finish type of person. Mm. I begin right at the beginning. I don't, I don't start a minute after the beginning or I don't end like a minute after the end. So I'd like to show you how complicated it is oh. to, to make the reversed roast reserve. Well, don't worry, <clears throat> I can keep up. Now, the first thing I think you need to know is that I like to keep it small. The beans are quite small. The first thing I do is I give them a little bath. 
Oh, that's beautiful. So I'll use this brush. You know, and the bean, quite honestly, feels the energy that I'm transferring to the bean. And I'm saying things like, you're going to become a hot drink that I'm going to drink in the morning. And I let, you know, I take every bean one at a, at a time. You're going to be a hot drink that I'm going to drink in the morning. And you know what? It can change. The thing is that the beans are very adaptable. Now watch this. Say it's... 215. Mm -hmm. So I say you're going to become a hot drink that I'm going to drink in the afternoon. It's like those cows that get massaged before they're slaughtered and they are softer and taste better. That's right. It's when you squeeze the cow and you tell the cow, I'm going to take these muscles away from these bones yeah. and I'm going to put them in some juices and some. Uh, herbs mm -hmm. and, and cow get ready because then we're going to take all of those muscles and twirl them around in a in a metal machine mm -hmm. where we make it even the muscles even more torn apart and then you can make kind of like a, a, mus a muscular knot we call a hamburger and then you cook that. Now <clears throat> this is just a classic pestle mortar and what I like about this is it's old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, I like to really press the beans in here and we do some grinding. And you'll find that after a lot of effort, um, the beans will break. It's so basic. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> very basic. Humanity has been using this tool since the beginning of time, the dawn of civilization. I've and that's why in you've cave seen paintings. It in cave paintings, in old, old books, in movies. Mm. And you just use your mus muscles. Oof. It takes quite a bit. I like I like the way your knuckles look when they. I thought I it. lost one. Oh, does he get upset if he falls out? I think so. I think it's hardest on me. Okay, that's fair. So, I really just you want to make a fine powder, mm -hmm. uh, better known as coffee grounds. Oh, I love it. I love fine things. And. <clears throat> It really takes some time, and that's step two. It's a very important step. And you know, I like to sing while I'm doing it, or, or sometimes I talk. Excuse me. Is that a recoverable scenario? I feel like this is on the ground learning. Can that bean be recovered, or is it? Burial time. Let me look. The, okay. Take all the time you need. That one's gone. It's okay. I'm sorry. It happens. The next step. is a stir. Now this one's more tactile. I just like to listen to that. Uh, this sounds like a drum beat I heard on my second safari in Africa. Oh gosh. Mm. It is fun having so much money. It allows you to focus on what's important in life. It really does. It allows you to take trips, buy things, and have big parties. Exactly, and not take anything for granted. Take a step back when you need to. That's Take care right. of yourself so you can contribute and give back. The amount of money that I've had has really allowed me to focus whole days on just coffee. Oh, it's beautiful. I haven't met many people with more money than I have. Money is a gauche word. But um, to be clear, money, and uh, you're one of the few. And Thank you. You inspire me every day with what you do with it, with what you do with your time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a really beautiful thing that you're giving back in this way because scientific studies have proven that drinking five cups of coffee a day can cure autoimmune diseases. They can lessen the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. dementia. I've seen cancer evaporate, AIDS gone. <sighs> I know that this is a little bit Sophie's choice, but if you had to pick, what is your favorite flavor of coffee? 
I personally gravitate toward anything that's solar crafted, wind powered, wild crafted, like coffee flavored. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked this. There is a very special cup of coffee that I make um, mm -hmm. just once a year on um, my birthday. <laughs> Um, what a treat. I collect some things from around my home. I make them into a pile. And then what I do is I sort of tuck my favorite bean, which um, is called the Grand Mirage. Mirage. And I, I put that sort of scattered around, uh, you know, a favorite t shirt, uh, an old picture, um, some jewelry that. Uh, was my grandmother's who was a she was a wonderful woman uh -huh. and I put that in the center of my living room and I and I dump boiling hot water over it and whatever happens happens and whatever happens happens is fantastic oh my god you took me there I went on that journey and I just felt revitalized mm. it's transcendent that's beautiful thank you I do that all the time when I discuss coffee with people. Mm. Um, I really find that I have a talent for transporting people. <laughs> uh, you do. I went on a journey, you know. And to unpack that further, you know, I'm a recycler and I like to find activities to do with my son. We'll take my old Nespresso pods and I'll let him figure out a way to peel them open with a tiny rock and we'll compost them. What do you do with the coffee grounds after you've absorbed their benefits? How do you pay your respects and <sighs> say goodbye? I sell a line of body scrub and <sighs> it's called Evangeline Will Wash You. And you can buy uh, eight ounce cans uh, of used coffee grounds uh, from my various cafes around the nation, the world. <laughs> Let's be fair. <laughs> Don't be humble, it's the world. <laughs> um, my coffee to... empire. It and, really is. <laughs> and you can um, use the coffee grounds to slough off old, old skin cells. Uh, really just start your day off on the right foot. Um, it is a luxurious aroma. Um, what it is, it's just coffee grounds that have been used. Oh my God, that's my kind of body work. You know, I thought brushing with brushes was one thing, but repurpose coffee grounds, it's so eco. Mm. We're gonna put a pin in that and take a quick break to hear a word from one of our sponsors. Thank you, good. The darkest, lowest point in my life was the day I gave birth to my son, Navy Sebastian. Matrescence is a vicissitude of hormonal imbalances, sleep robbery, and unmet expectations. And Western society does not respect mothers or understand that in order for civilization to flourish, mothers must be supported and pampered. Ancient cultures used to observe a sitting month, when a new mother would not leave the house, receive visitors, shower, be allowed to get cold, or have any responsibilities, aside from breastfeeding. But in modern times, women become a shell of the vessel that carried life the second a baby is born. Which is why I am thrilled to share our sponsor, Mom's Womb, a 30-day soul cleanse on your own private island off the coast of Italy. Mom's Womb coordinates a private jet the moment you give birth to whisk you to a five-star converted monastery turned wellness villa. Rest assured that there is absolutely no Wi-Fi, so your only task is to reconnect with yourself before you connect with your baby. And maybe eat some pasta on the beach. <laughs> Tune out those needy cries and tune into your own heart chakra in Mom's Womb with daily massages, a meditation cave, an on-call shaman, an underwater shrine, and spiritual guidance from one of the 17 resident nuns, all culminating in a waterfall baptism spa ritual. A month later, you'll be flown home, rejuvenated and ready to add mom to your multi-hyphenate instead of letting motherhood consume your identity. Mom's womb, because you have to put your own oxygen mask on first. 
These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. It seems that the universal experience of drinking coffee has the power to transcend politics, gender, socioeconomic status. Mm. How do you see your brand specifically connecting people all over the world? Because when I was at the airport in Dubai, everyone was gravitating toward your coffee. You know the thing about my coffee that I think is working, uh, that does bond people together, mm -hmm. is there's just something in common with every single cup of coffee, whether it's Dubai or whether it's Cleveland. Um, when you drink coffee, you have to be quiet because physically you can't talk and drink. <laughs> <laughs> and what that tells me is that I've brought peace to humanity. It is a, a human race, a human race that is together enjoying coffee in silence. They're not shouting, they're not um, expressing political difference or <clears throat> saying um, rapey words or they're also not talking about uh, joining a gang or um, what they did or did not do with the uh, inheritance that they were supposedly going to give to their children. They're not talking about any of that. They're just quietly having coffee. And to me, that's beautiful. It's meditative. It's mm -hmm. being present in the moment, refined. I feel like you have a real grasp on the human existence, and I'm hoping you can take me through your average morning routine. <laughs> My morning, yeah. my morning, yeah. well, it goes the whole day. Um, so I wake up just like this. So then all of a sudden, I'm up. Quickly my staff mobilizes. The shade, shades are open. Uh, the water, the kindling is brought in from the outside to start the fire underneath a large pot mm -hmm. that's made of gold. And that is where the coffee of the day happens. Now, we add the water, but this isn't just any water. This is very special water, refined water. It's not anything that you have ever had in your life. It's just something that I have at my home. And it's from a nation, a very small nation that I've forgotten the name of. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to let you leave until you remember the name so I can <laughs> import some for myself. <laughs> I'll never tell you. So. Oh, you're Funny. Once the water is at a rolling boil, that is when I blow a small lute. Now this lute is, it produces a sound that I think calms the bean. Mm. And that's when I know we're ready. That's when I begin the dusting process, the grinding process, the singing process, the chewing process, the licking process, the frothing process. Mm -hmm. And that goes right into when I turn a page, I turn another page, and there's the recipe. I look at the recipe, I spend a little bit of time, I read the news, let the coffee rest. And then I come back to the coffee. I say, is everyone awake? The staff says, yes, we are. We sing a rousing song. It's a secret. Then we begin the pouring of the water over the grounds. Mm -hmm. Now, Let's see we're, say we're, let's say we're at 11.30 in the morning. This process starts at five o'clock. Oh. So we, we're hours into the day. Mm -hmm. Now we're lucky if the pouring resolves by say 2.45, and that's when we have our first cup. By this mm. time I've fallen asleep and I haven't had anything to eat. So it's really quite grueling. It's so inspiring to see somebody that appreciates the process and the journey and that it's not the destination of the cup, but it's the creation of the cup that matters. That's right. I'm hoping that in wrapping us up, you'll sing to our listeners the way you would sing to a bean. It doesn't have to be your secret staff song, but I would love to hear a bean song. I would be honored. Good morning, you are my precious 
coffee. Coffee is for everyone who wants to drink it, but you need to have approximately three dollars. But my coffee, you, my beans are a lot more expensive. Your ten fifty. Awaken your consciousness every week with some slop. Subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Skipper.